up here. That was not easy. Oh man. Come over here, check this out. Lava that flowed at one time out of this crater behind me. Check it out. Is that cool? That, you can tell. This, this thing at one time exploded and there is the proof of it. <laughs> and this is just two hours away from our house. Can you imagine that? We, who would have known that we have actual volcanoes in our backyard? This is just fantastic, this place. Isn't it awesome? Man, yeah, and then to I think of this I'm being only two hours away from me. where we live in Orange County. Absolutely amazing, this area. Amazing. What really surprises me is the distance that this volcano at one time reached with throwing out volcanic oh, lava. Happened? You know, it's lava went look, for miles. This has been on for miles. This thing really blew. This is like a little Hawaii <laughs> Kilo Kilauea here. You know? We're standing on Kilauea ground. Welcome to CA Seismograph. We're here at Lava Lake and this is exciting. Look behind you. Here's a real volcano. A volcano that is two hours away from Orange County. At one time this thing blew and it blew so much all behind me here is lava lake. It's it's lava. It just flowed out of this this mountain. And it's amazing. You know, most people don't even know about this place. No clue that we have volcanoes in our backyard. And here we are, two two hours later, in the midst of In the, way, in, in the middle of nowhere almost, it looks like, but it's, it's fantastic. Let's go and uh, we're going exploring. We're going to go look at the lava tubes they have here. We're going to look in this crater first. But before we start, we're going to put up our EGF. Yes, we brought it. Let's go set it up. This will show how easy it actually is to make an e-graph work. Okay, perfect. Well, let's uh, start her up. Okay, there we go. And now all we have to do is start up. Where are we? On our California seismograph here. There we go. And we're live. This is how easy and how fast it is to start up your own e-graph, guys. An e-graph is plug and play. Better probably put this on simply to keep dust and dirt off it. So we have our EGF set up and uh, it is uh, fully mobile. We were able to just uh, bring it out here a couple of uh, hundred miles away from our home. And within like, what was it, less than five minutes actually, we were able to hook it up and see ground motion. And it's surprising actually to see as much motion is here. We're not that high in sensitivity even, about a thousand, which is actually for an e-graph is really high. But our our drums, our Inca paper drums sit on two, three thousand at night. And yet here we have it on a thousand and the needle is quiet now. But the good thing is, you can actually see motion on it a little bit right now. The good thing is that since the e-graph doesn't draw on paper like a like the pen does and has a, a, a resistance, a certain amount of resistance. The ECAF has almost zero, zero resistance to the surface of the tablet. And this an ECAF is so much more sensitive. So with other words, an ECAF 
at a thousand would be the same as having uh, our seismograph, our ink and paper drum at three, four, five thousand probably. I can't really tell you exactly the difference. We will do some testing someday. But yeah, there is a zero resistance between this needle and this glass tablet. So, are we ready, Brittany, to go up? We're gonna go up and see the crater. Okay. this it blew mostly maybe that direction because clearly this is a high direction so ultimately what could have happened is as we saw in Hawaii guys we saw lava coming up and spouting over the top of the rim and do you remember how it fell on top of the rim and then settled and built the rim higher and higher and higher that's what you see happening here this blew up and built this rim and obviously we weren't around to see how it exactly blew up this could have been one massive explosion and then you know over the days just diminished and that was it and that created it in once pretty much that big lava but i don't think so looking at the different lava flows because there's an area going out there and there's a big huge area going this direction i think this came over up and over and poured out into that direction and made those lava flows run over there. So, uh, but check this out guys. I mean, this is definitely the crater of this volcano that once erupted. Look at the lava field that is behind it. This is massive. We're talking about the miles and miles of lava here that spewed out. This is not just a little volcano. I mean, little maybe by Kilauea volcano. Kilauea, are you saying Kilauea? But it's big enough to strike six miles across this crater. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, if, you, if you come over here and we'll zoom into these areas where you actually see holes those are lava tubes over there i see one two three from here and here's one that's caved in but the lava did flow here and formed tubes along the way so this field kind of blew out to the east and started running towards the south there clearly yeah i'm gonna go in those i'm gonna look around there so you can walk up there and check it out We're gonna go down, we're gonna go into the little into the crater of this volcano. Come on, let's check it out. This is actually we're standing on top of a lava lake. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So. Wow yeah, this is definitely the we hit the mother load here. Yeah, this must have been absolutely the main place of, of the lava boiling up out of the earth and this is the last little bit that when it before it stopped this is where it finally died down and it left us with rubble <laughs> but look at this you guys want to see something cool check this out watch this big old rock eh? check this out it's not totally light but can you imagine this wow for a, if that was concrete, there's no way I would have picked it up that easily. That's awesome. And that's actually pretty solid. That's not that airy, that, that rock. There are probably rocks that are far less in, uh, in density. Well, let's go and let's look in the depths of this thing. That's where it came out of the last of, of the lava. And this is an actual lava 
too by itself now because once it is open once the the lava leaves and also even in the crater because it's definitely the the main crater here it's so cool look at this coming up and then it boiled over and and eventually this this sat there and and hardened in place because all this was fluid all this rock you seen at one time it was like liquid it was like water it flowed from one to another place and now it's solid but once the lava totally diminished and left the left the place and it died it left itself this 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 uh, crater it left itself with even a lava tube going down here we're gonna go and explore it you want to see this let's go check it out of years guys but it produced a butt line I'm taking it home see my back pocket gold pure gold Woo! this is awesome can you imagine having an 8.0 on the San Andreas now <laughs> that wouldn't be good I think I should bring a mask in here <laughs> this dust is pretty heavy you want to Give it to me and I'll film it in. Sure. <laughs> 